Do you guys want to be absolutely swimming in five-star gear and gray sets in Warlong Fallen Dynasty? Well, I found the newest and best way, by far the fastest way yet, to get five-star gear and gray sets in the game. I literally got two or three full gray sets and like 30 or 40 five-star items in like a little over an hour or an hour and a half of farming. And since the monkey spot isn't much of a thing anymore since they nerfed the drop rates, this is by far the best way. That being said, guys, make sure to scroll down and subscribe and like the video really quick. Let's go right into this thing. So this insane method actually comes from the Behold the Glaive of Righteousness mission. Now this is on Rising Dragon difficulty, meaning this mission has to be done in New Game Plus in order to actually get these five star items and gray sets. Now, if you haven't made it this far in the game yet, this is located in part six, so it is a little far. But if you're on New Game Plus and not here yet, this is really easy to get to. You have to get around 60% battlefields conquered on the right hand side in order to unlock part six. Now the easiest way to bump up this completion to get to this part really quickly is to go through the previous parts and just complete the sub battlefields. They're way easy and you can go through them all very quickly. Now once you start this mission you're just going to run straight. The big thing here is you just want to speed through the missions. You can skip a lot of the enemies. The main battle flags you have to get you're going to come up on this enemy first. You're going to have to defeat him in order to get the first battle flag. The second one you're just going to run right past this guy right into this tunnel on the left. You're going to open this gate that way in case you do die your progress is right there and you can walk right back where you were which is a decently tough fight but what I recommend for this entire mission is making sure you have two recruits at all times this makes playing the level that much easier you're gonna grab that battle flag and jump into this gate once you jump in here you're gonna have to defeat these two bosses again make sure you have two recruits it's gonna make this mission and this boss fight very very easy so all you have to do is defeat these guys I recommend defeating the smaller guy first because he can actually revive the bigger guy on the next part, you're going to come into this tomb, and this is the spot we want to be at for this farm. You can see I have four out of seven battle flags currently. Once I grab this one, this will be the fifth out of seventh battle flag on this map, on this mission, and you can run through and get here probably in seven, eight minutes of playing. Next, you're going to want to go into your inventory and drink your elixirs. Now, this is going to raise your morale by one for each one you drink. Once you drink three, go in rest at your battle flag and go back into your inventory and they will reset because they refill from your storage. You can use them again and again until you get to morale rank 25. For quick reference, here's my build. This is the kind of build you're gonna wanna use. You're gonna wanna run all of your luck gear, but switch it to lightning. So you're gonna wanna have a primary lightning stat here. You can see I have 78 wood virtue and 213 luck on this build. You also wanna have equipment drop rate as well, but you wanna have lightning because that's the main skill we're gonna use. And you need to have lightning bolt equipped. This is because our enemies that we're gonna fight are gonna be stone. And this is gonna allow you to one or two shot these enemies, making this farm go by very, very quickly, maximizing the insane amount of gear you can get through this. So once you have that set up, so you have a lightning skill set up, a lightning build, and your luck is also on the same gear, you're gonna hop out of the battle flag and you're gonna go right here and lightning bolt these guys. So a little bit more lightning skill because I didn't have it on my actual luck gear and you can knock these guys out in two hits super easy. But this guy on the back right is actually gonna be the primary dropper of loot. So you can see the first time I ever did this, I got a five star piece of equipment. Now hang on, that isn't it. So one thing I noticed when I was doing this is I actually started skipping the left guy because the right guy seemed to drop all the loot. And even when the left guy dropped loot, it didn't really ever seem to be five star. So the great thing about this is the guy on the back right drops a ton of five star items and a ton of four star items. Now what's awesome about this is almost every piece of gear when I was testing this, literally 85 to 90% of the gear all had grace on it. Meaning it was super easy and I literally got two or three gray sets doing this for an hour. It's literally it's insane. So you can see here, I'm just going back and forth. It takes 15 seconds to hit this guy and go back and loot him and then 15 seconds to do it again and 15 seconds. So you can do so many runs of this. It's in the hundreds of runs you can do per hour, which is insane. And you can see when I take this guy out here, this was the story of my life doing this. I got a four star set of swords and I tested this on every item I did and it came out to about 90%. I get swords, they have the gray set on them. I mean, every piece of gear that you get that's four or five stars almost every single time has grace on it, making this way better than the monkey method for actually getting gray sets, meaning in literally one or two hours, you can have probably a couple sets all together. You also get pretty quick XP for doing this. So if you're not max level and it's costing you four or 500K XP a level, this is an easy way to get additional levels as well. And if you're wondering about the luck build, check out the video in my description or on the right here about the first monkey method. I go over my actual luck build in this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and like the video if this helped you out. That being said, thanks guys.